right, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, 2K the God, my man says. We back in the building. Welcome to the Gods of Boxing Talk. Now, let me let me let me bring my shit down a little bit. Cause I'm jumping all around the place. I'm happy and shit. I'm fucking cheesing. <laughs> let me bring it down, fam. Because this shit right here, we said in the West High segment where um, the affiliate for RingTV.com. He's a writer. Uh, yep. His name's like Hasekio Garza. Balderez or some shit like that. Yeah, has, yeah, I think that's it. Hasekio Balderez. That might be it. Yeah. <clears throat> writer for RingTV.com. Uh, owned by Oscar De La Hoya, of course. Yep. Um, you know, everybody knows about the emails um, before the Al Hammond lawsuit was put to rest. Uh, big ups to Al Heyman and the PBC for winning that lawsuit because Golden Boy knew they ain't had shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, before that was put to rest, you know, he, he sent the email to the spokesman of Golden Boy basically calling Al Heyman a nigger and a black Hitler. And, uh, you know, the spokesman for Golden Boy didn't say shit about that. He nope. um, basically was like, yeah, but we need a bigger audience like Boxing Scene and some other fucking whack-ass website. Um <laughs> He absolutely did not have anything to say about the derogatory term that he used to uh, characterize Al Heyman, both derogatory yep. terms uh, and phrases, I should I should say. Oscar De La Hoya has said nothing about the derogatory term and phrase used yep. to characterize Al Heyman. But I don't give a fuck about them. Yeah, twist them over there. I care less. Oscar De La Hoya, I mean, he's a homo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll go buy this motherfucker's skirt, you know what I'm saying, from Macy's. He'll be happy. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about De La Hoya, right? Yeah. But what I do care about mm -hmm. is Bernard Hopkins. Absolutely. He still holds a stake, one of the shareholders of Golden Boy Promotions. Now, we all know Golden Boy Promotions going downhill. In 2014, they lost two of their biggest shareholders. And since then, it's been going downhill. A lot of fighters, pretty much all they goddamn stable, went to Al Heyman. You know, that's yep. pretty much what the hoopla was about, him bitching about that. Um, you know, Al Heyman uh, committing the, uh, violating the Muhammad Ali Act, which he probably is, but the motherfucker's so smart, he keeps promoters around him. It's hard to fucking prove it. You know what I'm saying? Yep, absolutely. So, <clears throat> so, that's what all the hoopla is about. You know, they only got one goddamn fighter. They got Roman Gonzalez, but they don't know how to market him properly. Mm -hmm. um, they try to get the majority of the fans to back Roman Gonzalez so he could actually treat him as he's treating Canelo, put him in there with average fighters, um, and still draw a huge crowd by making him the number one pound for pound fighter. But that didn't happen the way that he thought it would. So he's actually having to put Roma Gonzalez in there with killers like Kuwajalas. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Naoya Noya is like, hey, knocking on that door. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> yeah. Can you come you know? outside and play? Hey, exactly. You, you, you ain't trying to play? You in my yeah. division, but you ain't trying to play. Yeah, yeah. Um, but big ups to Roman Gonzalez because he's like, yo, y'all gonna have to give me that money. I see what you're oh, doing yeah. with Canelo over there. Who do you fight? Liam Smith? What? Mm. On pay per view? What? Really? Did he get five million? No, he got. I don't remember how much he got, but he got some million. <laughs> For Liam Beefy? A nigga named Beef. Beefy? Yep. <laughs> so Roman is like, I see that, dog. Mm -hmm. I see you over there fighting James Kirklands and taking <laughs> home a nice-ass purse. Mm -hmm. I see you over there fighting Alfredo and Gulo on pay-per-view, I might add. Yep. And taking home a nice-ass purse. Mm -hmm. I want some of that money, dog. <laughs> hey, yo, Oscar. You ain't gonna put me in there with no motherfucking monster by the name of Naoye Noye without mm -hmm. giving me that paper, dog. I need them greenbacks. I need that guac, them ducats. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. And so Oscar De La Hoya's plan 
for Roman Gonzalez is not quite going the way he planned it would, right? Mm-hmm. So that leaves him with just one fighter. Canelo. And in that situation, he is doing everything he can to keep Canelo away from them dogs. Them up oh, yeah. barking. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> they barking, boy. They trying to get out that gate. They want some cinnamon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Oscar, he's like, hell no, nah, this is all I got. Yeah. Right? So we know his shit is going downhill. A little long-winded, mm-hmm. but I just gave you the fucking 411 on that. <laughs> but Bernard Hopkins, man, absolutely should have said, if y'all motherfuckers don't issue a statement on this, I'm going to leave Golden Boy. I'm going to start my own shit, okay? Yep. Yep. But you know why he didn't do that? <clears throat> because Oscar, did, I mean, uh, Bernard Hopkins is a certified, bona fide, butter biscuit eating. <laughs> Coon, nigga. That's why. He don't give a fuck about that because it doesn't apply to him. He's no longer mm-hmm. black in his eyes. He's like, you know I'm, I'm trying to get this money. Niggas don't ride for me, which they actually do. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If anything happened to Bernard Hopkins, black people would have been on his side in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hell yeah. They're not going to do it now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But his, but that's the mentality of a fucking coon, a, a, a thank you master type of nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get a motherfuckers yeah. a bone, they feel like they can't go back to what they used to be. And I'm not talking about going back, you know, status-wise, financially. No, I'm talking about they feel like they can't um, have a relationship or relate to what they used to be. Now, I'll tell y'all a little secret about me. You know what I'm saying? I work in corporate America. And there's a fucking, there's a stigma on niggas that work in corporate America, right? Mm-hmm. They coons, automatic coon, you know, automatic yes master type niggas, you know, automatic buck dancing motherfuckers, right? <laughs> you know, I'm putting my tap dancing shoes on and, and do the menstrual show for y'all niggas. No! <laughs> that's one thing I'm not. And as you can yep. tell, that's why I show my face on YouTube videos, because I don't give a fuck who sees it, okay? Um, I make a lot of money. I was given that bone, right? I had to work hard for that motherfucker. I had to bite a couple mm-hmm. motherfuckers to get to it. Oh, you sure? She, I bit a lot of niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody. It wasn't just, it was whites, blacks, everybody, just to get to where mm-hmm. I need to be. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's a dog eat fucking dog world out there, yep. all right? But I got to where I needed to be, right? But I kept being the same person I've always been. I never sold out, and I never fucking will, okay? You're talking to a nigga that is in a a position to actually sell out, like Bernard Hopkins is doing, like Floyd Mayweather's doing, okay? Mm. Like Jerry Rice. I could keep going, dog. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of cooning ass selling out Stephen A. Smith. I was, yeah, I was gonna say, do not leave him off that yeah, list. I ain't leave him on that. That ain't cooning ass nigga, man. I ain't leaving him off. You know what I mean? But I was yep. given that opportunity to do that. I was actually tested at my workplace numerous times. So they realized, yeah, we just can't convert this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But as a black man, dude, and we said this shit on the West High segment as soon as we dropped it. Yep. We said we are more interested in what Bernard Hopkins and at the time we said Shane Mosley as well, but Shane Mosley is no longer a, a, a stakeholder. Um, his words, he said, I didn't leave Golden Boy. They discarded me. That was Mosley's mm. words. And that was back in 2010. So he's mm. no longer a stakeholder with Golden Boy. Um, but uh, more so Bernard Hopkins. We were interested in seeing what he was going to say about this. And it's been yeah. months, he said nothing. So that's what do you no. think about this shit, man? Man, you know what? <clears throat> First off, I agree with everything that you just said. Um, and I'm very proud of the fact that we were some of the first guys to actually put that out there and say, look, I want to see what Bernard going to do. 
You know what I mean? And this whole situation, Golden Boy, from everything I've heard about it, is a organization that has a lot of, um, you know, Hispanics in it. You know, its its main guy is Hispanic. So when you have situations like this and it takes a guy very long, that guy being um, Oscar De La Hoya, to address it, it looks like he's hiding something, for one. It looks like he's trying to sweep it under the rug, for two. And it also looks like they're going to protect their own, yeah. you know? in this particular situation. I am more frustrated with Bernard Hopkins as a black man than I am with Oscar De La Hoya, okay? And, you know, the whole situation, nobody should say that we're playing a race car here because the whole fucking situation is racist. Absolutely. There was a racist email that came out, you know? And Oscar De La Hoya as the head honcho should have addressed it, but he didn't. Bernard Hopkins, as Oscar De La Hoya's, what is perceived to be his right-hand man, should have came out and said, no, no, no. You know, I'm not going to stand for that. And he ain't going <laughs> to say that. So get his ass out of here, Oscar. Word. You know? <laughs> you know? That's what he should have did. And he did it. He dropped the ball. You know? And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, 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 Oscar, De um, I'm sorry, Bernard Hopkins has a history of, of of saying borderline racist things. But here's the here's the here's the fact. The thing about that, when Della, I'm sorry, shit, when Bernard told Joe Calzaghe, "I will never lose to a white boy. I will never lose to a white boy." <laughs> when he said that, man, everybody jumped on his ass. Absolutely, everybody. Absolutely. You know the media. Everybody shit. got on him. They jumped on fucking Jermaine Taylor for saying that shit, and it wasn't even it wasn't even towards oh, yeah, anybody. Yeah, yeah. it exactly. was in his own time. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so these guys have at least paid. You know, um, the the media has went at has went at Bernard for some of his um, uh, earlier comments. The mainstream media has not went at De La Hoya and Golden Boy in really any kind of way. They're not at these press conferences asking questions and things of that nature, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see, you know, if they're going to do that during the Canelo Chavez um, uh, media day or, or whatever the case may be. So far, they have yet to do it. And I'm not talking about channels like Minds and, and, and others who's it, who it's expected from. I'm talking about the Dan Rayfields. I'm talking about, this, the, you know, these cats, you know, in which I don't think they're going to do that because, you know, they are probably all on the Golden Boy payroll or they're all very, very close to Golden Boy. You know, um, if they were to come out and say something, I would be extremely surprised, you know. But at the end of the day, man, Bernard really, really, really upset me with the position that he's taken throughout this entire ordeal. If De La Hoya didn't, uh, chose to not, chose to, um, you know, not address this situation, I would definitely expect Bernard to at least put the pressure on De La Hoya and the organization in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Yeah. But like you said earlier, 2K, it's business as usual with Bernard Hopkins. And right now, it is not a good look because when Bernard was 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 fighting and when he was active, we all supported him. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. When he was producing some of those boring ass Bernard don't get started to the six round fights, we were the ones supporting him, saying, you know, nah, 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 nah. He gonna heat up, he gonna heat up. When Larry Merchant was in the ring trying to toast his ass, we were the ones behind him saying, man, Larry, shut up, man. Yeah, Larry, I hear Larry. Up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, get a man his prop. You know, we were the ones saying that. You know, same thing with guys like Floyd Mayweather. Oh my God. You know, you know. So, 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 <laughs> for these guys not to come out when the when the situation presents itself and the circumstances present themselves, for them to come out and vehemently speak out on these things, they don't. You know, and Bernard being so close to this situation has every right in the world to say, 
like I said, her, that's bullshit. You know, <laughs> you know, Balderas will not be working here no more. You know, I don't care. Ring mat, you know, get them all out. You know, I mean, damn, man, come on. Give us something. Throw us a bone. Damn. Yeah. You know, it's not that hard, bro. You're not in a subservient position. Come on. No, he's not. I mean, damn. <laughs> you know, even if you were fucking, you know, stand up, have a backbone. You know, come on, man. So I'm with you 100% on this, man. Like I said, I'm proud that we're the guys that actually turned up the heat on not just De La Hoya, but Bernard Hawkins as well, because I haven't seen anybody saying it, you know? So, yeah, I guess... I, I mean, <clears throat> you know, you see that with a lot of athletes, though, fam. Like, they get to a certain prestige. They Absolutely. get to the point where their economic status has changed, you know, tenfold. They yep. don't want to go back to what it used to be. They're too nope. afraid of it, so they don't say shit. They don't want it shaking in their motherfucking boots. You know what I'm saying? They don't wow. want to have the Craig Hodges treatment happen to them. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Shit, as far as I'm fucking concerned, I got way more to lose speaking the way yeah. I speak. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was in extreme poverty just like three fucking years ago. <laughs> yep. You know, I'm talking extreme, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I get home. You know, she wasn't my wife at the time, but we. I get home with my with my wife, and we looking around like, damn, nigga, shit. What we gonna eat, fam? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit, you still got them cocoa puffs in there, nigga. There's three uh, of them. Shit, put them in the bowl, nigga. Put them in the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit I was going through just three fucking years ago. Okay, yep. so I got way more to lose speaking on matters like this. Motherfucker, you a millionaire. Yep. If you put money away, the least that can happen is you lose your fucking job at this promotional company. You lose your mm -hmm. stakeholder or your, your ability to be a stakeholder, <laughs> but you can do something else. Yep. So I can't. Pet peeve, fam. <laughs> Number one is coon. I can't yep. stand cooning ass niggas. And you know, a lot of cats that aren't in a position um, of, of uh, wealth, mm -hmm. you know, they speak from a position where they can't be held accountable for what yeah. they say, right? Um, I'm speaking from a position of wealth. And I'm telling you, this shit is not needed to become successful. You don't have to no. coon to be a successful black man in fucking America. Nope. Cut that shit out. <laughs> Tired of these motherfuckers, man. So, yeah. my message to Bernard Floyd, I mean, none of these motherfuckers said anything, man. Yeah. You know, um, my message to them, keep cooning. Black community will no longer uh, uh, support you motherfuckers. Let's you trade these saying? assholes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Give us, give, give us Caleb Plant. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, there you go. Hey, for real. I'm fucking around. Nah, I'm fucking around, but I'm just saying. It, we no longer gonna support this motherfucker. Same thing with Floyd Mayweather, right? All that simping you do, you know, all that wasting money on dumbass bitches that don't like you, fam. You, 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 you too little. And in your old <laughs> age, you starting to look like your father. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe a couple years back, back in like early 2000s, I could see Floyd getting pussy. You know what I'm saying? Without paying for mm -hmm. it. Now, the nigga getting ugly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He mm -hmm. getting the wrinkles his daddy got. You know what I'm saying? The nigga stuttering after every... I mean, even he mac to a bitch, he gonna stutter for the first 15 minutes before <laughs> the nigga can talk about trying to get some pussy. The bitch gonna walk away. That's if he didn't have money. <laughs> yep. You know what I'm saying? So when all that shit comes crashing down, fam, don't look at us to support you, nigga. Real talk. Yep. You got anything else to add, man? Nah, man. All right, YouTube, do what you do in the comment section. I'm waiting for the dislikes. I'm waiting, <laughs> man. I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all real speak, though, man. Like I said before, this channel is built on real shit. Okay, mm -hmm. we talk about fighters, our favorite fighters, two of our favorite fighters, actually, Bernard Hopkins and Floyd Mayweather, we talked about in this segment. Yeah. If they fucking up, we will not hesitate to go at these cats. No such thing as bias around here, man. Nope. Do what you do in the comment section and be real. This is Real Talk for Real Fans. One.